you got any sense, I advise you to see what your options are going to be. Because if you filing your taxes, baby, it's going to be bye, bye, bye. Because the numbers that I have been seeing, 10000 some have even been up to $28,000 and it's more than that. But the numbers that I've been seeing, that has to be reported to the government, which also works with the IRS. Like, y'all, it, it's a whole... Hey y'all, uh, it's Destiny, and for all those people that did the check fraud, and you think you're getting your taxes back, it looks like you're not. Tax season is coming up, so if you saw my latest video on this, you would know that a lot of people are going to have their government assistance benefits taken away based on them doing this check fraud. And now it looks like when you go to file your taxes and you're supposed to get something back, you're not going to be getting anything. So watch this and then we're going to talk about it. I don't know about y'all, but I look forward to taxes, but some of y'all ain't gonna be. Remember that offset I was talking about a couple videos ago? You know that they can offset your tax return too, right? This is more than just owing the bank some money. All they need to do is report it to the IRS, and they're gonna be all about their money. Y'all thought this was gonna be over just because the account is overdrawn? Absolutely not. Account being overdrawn is the least of your worries, but baby, baby, there's three things you don't play with. God, the IRS, and the bank. And at this point, you got two for three. Like, come on. You got any sense. I advise you to see what your options are going to be. Because if you filing your taxes, baby, it's going to be bye, bye, bye. Because the numbers that I have been seeing, 10000 Some have even been up to $28,000. And it's more than that. But the numbers that I've been seeing, that has to be reported to the government which also works with the IRS. Like y'all, it, it's a whole chain reaction. It's not just one thing. And I think that's what y'all forgot was when y'all decided that y'all was gonna deposit these checks is that it was just gonna be one thing. No, you just affected everything in your life, but I'm just letting y'all know, tax time ain't gonna be too fun. I'm pretty sure everybody that did this check fraud was definitely not thinking about the consequences of their actions. They were just trying to get that money. I don't think y'all baby daddies like you. Baby mom says that she deposited a check from child support and that her baby daddy deposited a check for some arrears that I guess they had worked out. I don't care about none of that. So she proceeds to say that the check that she deposited was made available and the check that he deposited was also made available, but not sure what's going on with the balance. I asked her all of the check information, let me know when was this done, and she says that one check was done on the 4th, and one check was done a couple of days ago. She says that when she reached out to her baby daddy, that everything was cool, money came out of his account, they're all good. So I had to tell her that the check that the baby daddy put into your account was not valid, it was fraudulent. The money that you were using for all these transactions, we are now going to have to recoup. That's why the account balance is negative because we had to take our funds back. And the check that you deposited from actual child support has now been used towards the balance for the negative amount. She on the phone talking about, I knew he was no good. I should have just waited for child support to do what they were gonna do. Just say that y'all don't like y'all baby mama. Cause that's the vibe I'm getting for these baby daddies and baby mamas. But then I'm like, baby mamas, why are you giving them so much access to your account? She has a great point. Don't give anybody access to your bank. Look what can happen. You really can't trust anybody at this point. But y'all gotta let me know what you think about the situation. What do you think about people's tax money being taken by the government? What do you think about people allowing other people to deposit checks in their bank account? And do you know anybody that did the Chase Bank glitch, aka check fraud? Just let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. This is in regards to the Chase Bank theft and that's what it was it, it was a theft now this person believes this could have been a setup and that chase bank did this on purpose so the way this kind of thing works is when a customer has a good check clearing history over a longer period of time they will get a um privilege of some of their money being released early now in my case i i bank at Wells Fargo they allowed the entire check to be released at one time the entire check 
okay so um and it's within a second of you depositing it so it is something that these large banks do provide people who have a good check history it's not that chase set them up that's not what the issue is because even if let's say even if they did let's say okay this was a setup by the bank um she compared this to the movie the purge that they were going after the little guy basically even if they did everyone who participated in this scam wrote a fraudulent check to themselves once they figured out that they could get the money the moment they deposited the check so even if chase was like yeah let's go ahead and fuck everybody over everybody who participated willingly participated when they wrote the bad check to themselves and inserted it into that atm machine and then went and made that withdrawal because they knew that they didn't write a good check. So at the end of the day, again, this is people not taking responsibility for their own actions. This could have been completely avoided if, if everyone who participated had never wrote the checks in the first place. This isn't about the bank practice. This is about you as the person who is responsible for you because that's going to be the argument in court everyone's going to say i didn't know or it's not my fault or someone put the money in there for me if you see a deposit go into your account for let's say 50k that you didn't make that you didn't make you don't touch it it doesn't matter if it's there you need to notify the bank that, hey, there's a deposit there that I didn't make. Because if you draw on that deposit, you are also committing fraud. It's not your money. It belongs to someone else. So you're responsible for what you see in your account. So when you make these decisions to be like, hey, I have taken notice that the bank is letting me draw as much money as I want out of an ATM machine after the fact of depositing a check, and then saying to yourself, yeah, I'm going to do that. That is called check fraud. Point blank check fraud. No one forced them to write this check. No one forced them to put it in the ATM. And no one forced them to take off the cash. This is not the bank's problem. The banks can do whatever they want in regards to how they handle a check that you deposit whether they decide not to release the funds because they they don't trust you or to release the funds because they do or release partial funds because they do